I've got something a little bit different for you today. This is not your typical review that I do, but it is something very special and very unique. And the best part is, it comes from our hometown of Portland, Oregon. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison, and before we get into it, I know that normally you come here for TV reviews, but how do you feel about like one-off audiophile equipment? Is that on your radar at all? And do you remember back in the 60s or 70s when they tried to make audio equipment that didn't look like audio equipment? I kind of missed that. How about you? Leave me a comment about that down below. And while you're down there, please click like and subscribe because we need all the help we can get to grow this channel. Thank you so much. Now, let's get into it. Portland, Oregon-based artist and entrepreneur Ezra Samino Hurt is back with a brand new invention. There's just something about a set of speakers when you put it on, it just sounds right. The mind behind Case of Bass and Touch of Bass has taken his pent-up creativity during COVID times and produced a visually stunning new audio system codenamed Space of Bass. Scientifically, we can sample and we can listen to like what frequency it's covering, but ultimately it's like, does it represent music how I want to hear it? They are as much art as they are speakers. And as interesting as the speakers are themselves, their origin story is even better. And it's so Portland. The story starts when Case of Bass was forced to make a big order of little digital amps. When ordering from overseas, there's a minimum order quantity. The cart led the horse on these. Supplier for our amplifiers went dark. After five years of just like an annual order, they just stopped responding. And so we realized we needed to figure something out or else you know that was that's kind of like our base framework and so we had to do a full production run of a thousand units but there was just no way the team would use all of them for one-off pieces so faced with the glut of these amps ezra had to figure out what to do with them the idea seemed obvious we thought what if we made a nice uh desktop amplifier once the amp was figured out they couldn't stop there the amp needed speakers to go with it. That's when a partnership with a local electronics recycling company came in very handy. Ezra and his team at Case of Base have always been about repurposing materials. Harvest parts from wherever you can, be as environmentally conscious as possible, and then see what you can make out of it. We get the call that uh, Audio Hi-Fi Company has dropped off two pallets of bookshelf speakers that are no longer needed and they've never seen the dust of someone's dirty apartment. Would you like to come down and grab them? Armed with all the speaker drivers he needed, it was time to come up with a cabinet to put them in. That's where Clarice comes in. Clarice is a CNC router that Case of Base acquired right around the start of COVID, and it got Ezra out of his house and back into his shop. We were creating projects to teach ourselves how to be more proficient with this machine, and then it was easily seven or eight months before we started doing any of this. Ultimately, this machine unlocked Ezra's imagination. These are not speakers he could ever have built by hand. Ultimately, a totally unique speaker is born. It's got a four inch down firing mid bass driver, a one inch up firing tweeter, both with a 360 degree omnidirectional diffuser cone. They get paired with the amp, which got a similar case design and comes with a line input, a line output, Bluetooth, bass, treble, and volume controls, all built onto a high quality class D amp. And they could have stopped there. I mean, already this is a totally unique piece of art, which also happens to be a sound system. But the name Bass is in the name of everything Ezra's company makes. And while the four-inch drivers and the speakers put out a respectable amount of oomph, Ezra wanted more. To spend so much time and dedicate and then listen to it and you're going, yeah, it's good. But you didn't have that, that room painting low end. Luckily, Ezra walked into another lot of recycled drivers, this time robust six and a half inch speakers dying to go into a matching subwoofer cabinet. It couldn't have been planned any better. The sub gets its own amplifier with level controls and the dual six and a half inch speakers pair up to put out authoritative musical, you guessed it, bass. But it was so worth it. It was so worth it once we got everything set up and into space and then you listen to it and you go, oh, there it is. Like that's, that's, that's what I was after, thank you. Now to be clear, these speakers were not approached from an audiophile sort of perspective. It was always about the design, the aesthetic, and the art, but 
That doesn't mean that Ezra didn't want them to sound as good as they possibly could. And they do, in fact, sound very good. But this system, really what makes it unique is that it does something that few others manage to do. And that is create an almost omnipresent sound while still having a sound stage. I mean, you get stereo effects, you get vocal clarity. It sounds like the singer and some of the instruments come from the center while others come from the sides, but the whole room shimmers with sound. You could get away with just the speakers, but the subwoofer brings it home with musical bass that fills out the frequency range perfectly. I think anyone who owns a system like this will enjoy it, but very few will get that honor. The codenamed Space of Bass System is sort of a one-time thing. There will only be 10 or so units that will be sold. Think of this as a limited run art piece. The idea of the uniqueness of them is like, it might as well be like each one is a painting. It's like the joke of the NFT and this is like, well, obviously we don't need an NFT for any of this because it is the thing, like it is the piece of art. The system will come in three finishes, hardwood, cherry, walnut, and maple. The amp will come with everything needed to get hooked up, power supply, speaker wires, RCA cables for the sub. I can see this being the perfect companion to a vintage turntable, or it could be a part of a modern streaming music system. No matter how it gets used, Ezra knows the people his system finds will find the best way to highlight it. If you can score a set, you'll have your hands on something really special. And if you don't manage to be one of the lucky few who do, you can always hope to get in on the next project. Thanks as always for watching everyone. If you could get your hands on a speaker setup like this, would you? Leave me a comment about that down below as well as like and subscribe and here's two other videos that I think you'll like.